Hello, we are back. And in this section, we are going to start to play with our document and vector database. And we are going to be basically embedding our documents with OpenAI to add to our vector database for then we get the user query, go into our database to find what's the best document to be related to whatever query or action that the user is trying to perform. So let's give a very quick overview on here on where is the document it's going to be used for. When we type here, let's say create a new app or even trying to uh, write something more freely with I want to create a new app. So this input would be then passed to our vector database, which is Reddit, and you're going to find the document that explain everything that's required when the user is trying to create a new app, right? So when we are trying to create a new app, the fields that are required are app name, app description, app model, and then in the app model, we have two options, GPT 3 and 4. And also need to say what, when you press on the proceed, what is the type of required action should be performed, right? And all that it is in our document, which I'm going to show it now. So for great application, we have some metadata, metadata related to that, but the main part is this text here. So we. Uh, give instruction to the chat TPT to saying that when the user want to create a new uh, app, this is what is required. That is the field, app name, app description, app model. We also say that when we are click perform a uh, proceed, we are going to be sending this data to this endpoint, which we will have in our system. We're going to be adding that later. Another thing that we have here is some information related to the fields and how to render those, the type of the field, app name is input, app description is a text area, and so on and so forth. So that's a kind of doc that we are uh, playing with now. And this, it is basically, we are going to basically work on those strings to vectorize this information so Redis can then perform a, a semantic search based on this, on the user input, right? So let's start diving, diving into it. So if we go, the first thing we're going to do, it is to let's create here a new file called prepare data. We are going to basically, let's say, prepare this data before we insert it to, to red. So let's say prepare or yeah, prepare data. And what we're going to be doing here on this prepared data, we'll need basically to read the data. So let's say this uh, data file. The data file will be a OF. Let's join. And then we are going to have data. Um, yeah, that's the correct paths. And then what we also need to do, let's, let's see. Yeah, let's get the data source itself. We are going to use pandas here to read the data. Then I'm going to import pandas. Uh, pandas. PD, so we can abbreviate it here. Next step we're going to need it is the open API. Open API client, because we're going to be sending our uh, text to open AI. Yeah, it's basically this, correct, port. Yeah, basically that. Next, 
we need to run this from the terminal. So we need to set We need to, yeah, let's try to run it now. Let's see if it is. Yeah, so we can see here the data, it's running properly. Okay, so the steps that we were gonna need it is let's create a new function, prepare data. And this data will basically on this method, we are going to, let's say, mm, let's say read data, what we just did up there. We're going to create a function for that. Create this function, read data. Then, Next, we're going to say generate baddings from this data. Then we're going to save embedding to JSON. And here we're going to embed things. Just use the embedding. Mm -hmm. One we are going to have to also save the original data. So let's say those, we're going to call this information as metadata. Save meta data to JSON, let print function, yes, so That will be the step. So we're going to prepare data. We're going to basically read the data from the file, generate embeddings for each text, and then you're going to save those. And then you're going to save also in another file the, 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 the let's say, the raw data that you have, and you're going to call that metadata. I start to implement each one then. So the read data, let the search room just copy this. In here, we read the data, data source, we are going to just return it. Then we have the data here, then generate the embeddings. Generate the embeddings. To generate the embeddings, we'll have to do a bit of more code. We are going to first, we are going to send the data in batches, so we have to split our data into batches, and then let's say join all this batch in one single array list. Let's say so. I'm gonna call it the all vectors. See, um, I will text a batch, and I will. Keep all the IDs as well in a separate array. Next, we will have to loop over all the items, which it is gonna roll, and I'm gonna create a batch for that, and I'm gonna be splitting this batch in 1000 or maybe 100 to not get too big. And then we are going to get open AI embedding. So I'll have to, yeah, that's correct. I will have to create this embedding that will be 
OpenAPI embedding. So let's create that with the OpenAI embedding in the name. Text bar, bar. Text bar, I'm just put it as a list. As for now, just return kind of list for now. And then we'll update our O vector with whatever he turned from OpenAI embeddings. Then we're gonna clean up all this vectors and what else we need uh, I think we need also if we're, let's say if there is less than on 100 docs we need to handle that because we'll never come inside this block so we will have to basically I'm gonna add a comment here add any remaining role to account which is basically text batch it bigger. So if, if this is bigger than zero, which means it didn't clean up here, we are going to get embeddings for those as well. And then add to the, to the all vectors. And then we turn all vectors. Yeah, it's bigger than that. Let's see, this will help us to see if we have processed all vectors properly. And let's see how it goes. I'm going to run it again. That dash source had, okay. Got to call the prepare data. We had 13 and we store zero. Let's investigate why is that. Like, um, we have here, I think it's because this should be a, I think this should be, be a dictionary. Yeah, so we have one. Why you have one? Ah, okay. Yeah, because here I'm supposed to pass to return 13. Yeah, all the, close all this. Uh, on this, I'm supposed to return more because then, because I'm returning just one. So, but it's working fine. Let's continue. And uh, here on the, Open AI embeddings, we need to do some work as well. It's just, so we need first get all the text. We need to go through our bash, get it because that, um, this would be, let's say doc. I'm going to just change this to doc so that can, but. And we're going to get the doc. And then in the doc, we want the text in the doc. And so we create the, we create this list and we are going to create the embedding. I'm going to return the, we have the embedding. The embeddings. Got a list the embedding supposed to be a string. That's too wrong then. It's a list. A list of string. So we have the embeddings now. So we cannot just return the embeddings. We have to 
let's say, assign that embedding for the given doc ID. So maybe this should be doing what I want, but it's a bit complicated to read here. I'm going to write something simpler, which will be just to go through over it. I'm going to enumerate it and I'm going to get the embedding index to the doc. To, um, actually, I need to capture the IDs here as well. So text IDs. And I will just do the same here and take all the IDs. Uh, ID. Let's see how we have it. Uh, item ID. And it will be the IDs. And then we can just get the IDs. Let's say result. And I'm going to have results. And this result would be actually a dictionary. So then we can say IDs, index, and embed it. So basically, we're getting the index of the embeddings because we sent a batch. And this batch would be that this embedding will be for that given item ID or doc ID. And I think that's it. We're going to just return the results. And yeah, that should be it. Let's just go back and see what we get. Let's get opening and embedding. And we have some here and here text vectors and we have the text vector in our vector that the okay, embeddings I'm gonna change that from embedding to vectors just to keep the same language vectors you need the vectors and get the vectors And here I'm gonna clean this vector to see if it's working. Yeah, it seems to be working. Um, yeah, this is very big, so it's hard to to look over. But let's take a vector. Yeah, no, I think we're going to look at the, when we save it. So we're going to save to the file. I think it will be easier to look at the file itself. Uh, let's call vector to JS. And this is going to be, a, let's change everything to vectors just to keep consistency. Tours. And here. On our vectors, we are going to basically save it to a JSON file, which should be very simple. Mm, I think I'll have to do some massage here on this data as well. Let's say data vectors would be an array. And you have to iterate over the I think I'll need, I'll need the data as well. Uh, data. Here. And then I'll loop over the index. I enter it over the data and I'll create a da data vector which will add item ID and the vector I'll put text vector here to and find better text vector and based on the ID because we created the vector per ID I can just take the ID here and yeah basically that it's correct 
with this we can just return it no not return need to save that today so we then use json dump with the vector and i it then or data JSON and yeah, we just say data vectors JSON. Yeah, we open the file as a write and we write it to the file. Yeah, correct. It's it works. Yeah, now it's 13, 13. And we are supposed to have a new vector JSON here, which contains, yeah, ID and the vector. Perfect. So next step, we need to save the metadata as a JSON as well. So we are going to basically look over again. So we need be four. Look over. I think we're going to create a help data. <laughs> let's say metadata. Data list, let's call it. And basically we're going to create a update with item title text i'm gonna keep all the fields and uh, the fields application i think i'm gonna call app but here application that's what we have in our data application and let's add this one as well i don't think we are using this keep this to type so this would give our data and what to do is we do the same we just json dumps ident and then open metadata file and write it yeah basically so uh, it takes a little bit because it takes all the documents and send it to OpenAI. Okay, so now we have the metadata as well, which is basic item, title, text, app, article, type. I think I, because this is exactly what we had, so why you're creating this, it is because we want to change a little bit the structure. So this structure is not correct. The structure that I want, it is actually, I want to create a new structure would be the data. And I want to create a new structure for the data here. That's what I want. Yeah, we still have the item here, but the rest of the data would be in a metadata item. Yeah, that's more like that. So basically we broke down in you know, an item because it's going to use this to find this item later. So we're going to store um this metadata in a different key world so we need to have this a uh, split in i think that's conclude this uh, lection so that we are basically implemented all the method that we wanted so we read the data we create the vectors we save the vector in json and you kept the metadata in json as well next step we will get this data and insert it into our uh, jenkins see you next lecture